Thursday, May 7th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Venezuelan police are investigating a mass grave in the country's west. Seven badly decomposed bodies were found buried in a village on the Colombian border, where guerrillas and drug traffickers are known to operate. Authorities haven't released information on the victims' identities. A Moscow court has decided a Ukrainian pilot will stay behind bars at least until the end of June. Nadia Savchenko has been imprisoned in Russia since last July. She's accused of involvement in the deaths of two Russian journalists, as well as illegal border crossing. She says she was handed over to Russian security forces after being abducted by separatists in eastern Ukraine. The 33-year-old went on hunger strike for more than 80 days to protest her detention. The U.S. and Ukraine are calling for her immediate release. Syrian President Assad made a rare public appearance on Wednesday, in part to reassure supporters his military is resilient and will prevail. Rebel forces have captured spans of strategically important territory, most recently in Idlib province. Assad said in the country's long and fierce war, there are attacks and retreats, and victory and defeat are to be expected. 38 million people are now the accumulated total of people internally displaced within their country's border. A new report claims that violence and armed conflict in places like Syria have forced a record number of people from their homes. Nearly a third were displaced last year alone. The Norwegian Refugee Council attributed the figure to the spreading unrest in the Middle East and Central Africa, criminal groups in Latin America, and separatists in eastern Ukraine. And a spokesman said the findings demonstrate the world's failure to protect innocent civilians. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. Planning on voting? No. Nope. <laughs> Why is that? It's, just, it's, it's a joke. My opinions obviously come from Islam, is that God should decide how we live, not a parliament. When Muslims face so many challenges in this country, which are best addressed by getting involved in the system, to not engage, to me, is just stupid, quite frankly.